Now this is a playful chat, but I want to point out valid points from it. First, me and my dad were working on my my off-the-grid hut that I'm working on building so I can be out of all the stuff that everyone else has. I don't need all the typical material stuff. I just need a, a place to sit and a place to meditate and a place to come to when I need somewhere to be stationary and gather my thoughts. So he kept saying stuff like, going to get the big bus for a raise, and it makes me sort of feel bad because I'm not going to work anymore, and I don't care about money, and I keep explaining every day how my whole goal in life is to get it so people can actually truly live free, which freedom would be not living in a world of money ruling our lives, but we do it anyway. But then, as you said, going to get the big boss for a raise, I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't really want to laugh and joke around about it because I don't want money. I don't have a boss. I'm never going to have a boss. And then, you know, even later on, he just said, as I walked over here, like, hey, boss, did we get enough done today? I'm like, I'm nobody's boss. And he's like, well, he's the management. And then I thought, okay, Hugh management. I'm a color management. That works. But other than that, my mom was saying that, you know, everything was fine except there was this accident, almost an accident over at this place. And I'm thinking like, you know, whenever someone says there's only an accident, there's almost an accident and there was an accident, I would have to remind them that hundreds and thousands of people and hundreds of thousands, just lots of people travel around every day without accidents, which I would say every accident is just an incident because those people weren't accidentally out driving around. If they were actually conscious of what they were doing and going only where they needed to go, there would be no accidents. There would only be incidents. But people are all over the place not knowing what they're doing. And while they're in a car, they don't know exactly if they want to go this way, this that way, right, or if they want to stop for a drink, or if they're paying attention to their car, or if they're looking at their phone. And people just aren't conscious. They really aren't. And everyone knows this, but they're afraid to admit it because they're one of them. All of them. All, every single one of them. I'm not saying I'm the only conscious person because I can get out of it when I play my Dan ego. That's what the whole point is. When you're riding down a sled on a snowy hill, you can't control the fact that you might fall off or, you know, nature contributes to your outcome. You can't control it all. So when you're out there doing things that you aren't conscious of completely, nature plays a factor. So when you go out and you say, oh, there was almost an accident, I would say, ah, everybody was out there. We're just lucky that we became so conscious that each of us could operate along the lines of the same kind of idea so that we wouldn't just walk into walls and now we can drive down streets. And instead of doing that and doing pointless stuff with our intense intelligence, we could actually build on things that were even better than driving down streets and going to stores for stuff when we need to move up to the next level of efficiency, which would be taking money out. See, we wanted to work up to a place where we were stable, and we are. And now we're at a place where we're stable and ruled. There was a place where we were basically under under nature's guide until we could learn how to fend for ourselves in nature. And we're still in nature. And now the ones that we're fending for ourselves against are other people. And it's sad to let people keep doing it. So when my mom and dad, you know, being 70... They're, they have their their past ideas, and they make a lot of sense to them, but they really just don't. I feel bad, because I want to show them the truth, but they won't listen to me for some reason. I don't understand why. But, anyway, that's what I'm going to say for now. Peace.